When it comes time to replace the tires on your car, it's crucial that you understand the numbers on the sidewall of your tire that tell you its size, its load rating, and its speed rating, because you want to replace a tire with exactly the same type of tire in all those aspects, okay? So there are six characters or sets of characters on the side of the tire I want you to understand. Here we have a tire that's a 205-55R1691T. What does all that stuff mean? Well, the first number, 205, describes the tire's width in millimeters, okay? That's the 205. The second number, the 55, describes how tall the sidewall is as a percentage of the 205. This is 55% as high as it is wide. The R means that it's a radial construction. That's almost all that we see these days. And then that last number in the first set is a 16. That's the rim diameter in inches. It's across this face of the tire that it's designed to go on. You need to have the same diameter there, okay? 205-55R16. That's all about size, and the R is about the construction. But the next numbers are important also. The 91T is the load rating and the speed rating of the tire. 91 describes as an index you can look up online or at ziptire.net how much weight this tire is designed to carry. And it's important that you replace your tire with the same load rating because the tire pressure recommendations from your car work together with that load rating to make sure that you have the right amount of pressure in the tire and are able to carry the right amount of load in the sidewall. You can see how that works. That's all about the load rating. And then the last character here, it's a T. That's the speed rating of the tire. It's designed, this is a passenger tire, not designed to go very fast. T is a fairly low speed rating. Higher speed ratings are H and V and W. And we see those more commonly on higher performance cars. This is a tire that's not designed to go on a particularly high performance car. Again, you want to replace it with at least as high a speed rating as your car is recommended to have, never a lower speed rating. It's not just about how fast you drive, it's about how the tire is designed to work with the performance of your car, okay? Now, in case you thought some of this is kind of like uh, hullabaloo or doesn't really matter, I'm gonna show you an illustration that really shows how load rating works from tire to tire. This is a 91 load rating, as we mentioned, okay? So you can see it's a fairly easy tire to squish, and if I put a little bit of weight on it, I can collapse it pretty easily, okay? That's a tire with a fairly low load rating. This tire here is a 100 H, so it's a higher speed rating, it's an H rating, but more importantly, it's a, a 100 load rating, so you see, I can't collapse it as easily, it can take a lot more of my weight, and it doesn't really collapse until I put almost all my weight on it. Now this tire over here is a 116 load rating, it's really a, designed for a commercial van, and I can't, I actually can't crush this tire by putting all of my weight on it, it's not collapsing at all. So that's what load rating is about, you see? And it's important, you can see, that this tire not go on a vehicle that needs this kind of load rating. It won't work correctly and it'll be unsafe, okay? So all of these things go into deciding on a tire. Not only the brand and type of tire you might want, but the size, the load rating, and the speed rating that you get. If you have any questions, call us at 844-ZIP-TIRE or look us up on www.ziptire.net. We're happy to help you decide on what kind of tires you need for your car.